dear friend in Christ, I wish you a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year in advance. And Reverend Father Benson Peter Irabo, the period of Christmas, the season of Christmas, is a season of joy because the Savior of the world had been born. And so when we hear, for instance, Christmas song, we are joyful. When we see Santa Claus, which is known as the Father Christmas, we are joyful. When we see the Christmas trees and lights, it creates a kind of joy to us. And then, today we are going to talk about the Christmas manger, the crib. Many of us are not familiar with that, except those who are Catholics. And some will ask, what is this crib all about? What is the manger, Christmas manger all about? For those who are not Catholics, they see, is, uh, see the image or the crib or the Christmas manger as a kind of shrine where we worship idolatry. But that is not true. Today I'm going to give us the significance, the meaning and the origin of the Christmas manger, the crib, which you can see behind me. Now, probably before now, in the 13th century, by Francis of Assisi, in the year 1223, he was the first to create the manger, the Christmas manger, the crib. Why? Because before now, the Christmas Santa Claus had taken over the essence of Christmas was not really being celebrated anymore. The focus was no longer on Christ, but the focus was on Christmas trees, lights, and Santa Claus for the Christmas and so on. And so for him to make people come back to the real essence, the real meaning of Christmas, that was when he created, he enacted this Christmas manger or the crib. And so traditionally, there are seven images that are found or figures that are found in the Christmas crib I hope you know that. I know you are going to learn today. We have, the first image that we have there is the image of the shepherd. The shepherd were the first to hear the good news of the birth of Jesus. And they were the first that actually saw Jesus when he was born. And then we have the image of the mother of God, the Blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of the infant Jesus. Of course, she was ready to say, yes, let this be done to me as you have said. And then we have the image of Joseph, the foster father of Jesus, the husband of Mary. We have the image of the angels who brought the good news, who brought the good news. We have the image of the angels. Then we have the image of the animals, the image of the animals, cattle, the donkey, and so on. And then we have the image of the major, the three wise men, as we often say, who came to Jesus and presented their gifts to him. The seventh image that you have in the manger is the infant Jesus. Of course, that is the reason for the celebration. I'm glad you were able to learn something today on the Christmas crib or the Christmas manger, the seven figures that are found there. Sometimes we have more than that, but there are traditionally seven figures or characters that are found in the Christmas Eve. And Christmas is all about Jesus Christ, not about Father Christmas or the Christmas song or the Christmas trees or the stars and so on. Those are very, very important. Decorations are very important. But the focus of Christmas is not just the food, but Jesus Christ himself, the Savior of mankind. God bless you.